The text to video extension for Auto 1111 was updated today and in this tutorial we're going to walk through how to install that and get you up and running with two different versions of text to video This update to text to video includes both the model scope and the video crafter text to video models. You can read through the GitHub page here, link in the description for the specifics on what's changed and what's included. And also see some examples of text to video in action. Both models have text to video and video to video capabilities with in painting. The video crafter model also has some video LoRa capabilities and video control using the T2i adapter. It looks very interesting and looking forward to seeing how this develops. Okay, let's look at how to do the install. Here we go. Go to the root folder of your Stable Diffusion install. From there, go to the Models folder. In the Models folder, create a new folder and name it Model Scope. Open the Model Scope folder, create a new folder inside it and name it T2V. Go to this URL at Hugging Face, link in the description, and download these files to the folder you just created. Next, go back to the Models folder in the root folder of your Stable Diffusion install. Create a new folder and name it Video Crafter. Go to this URL and download the weights. Link in the description. Place the weights, that is the model.ckpt file, into the Video Crafter folder you just created. Next, open WebUI user bat file to launch Stable Diffusion. Go to the Extensions tab of the Stable Diffusion WebUI and click on the Install from URL tab. In the URL for Extensions Git repository text box, paste this GitHub URL. Link in the description and click Install. Go back to the Install tab and click Apply and Restart. When the web UI restarts, you will see a tab that says Text to Video. Inside the Text to Video tab, you're given two options for your model type, Model Scope or Video Crafter. Underneath, you have the Text to Video option or the Video to Video option. And down below, you have the option to set up in painting where it says image to video. I will not go into the details of this here. If anyone's interested, please place in the comments below your interest and I will make a tutorial in the future covering this. Inside the text to video tab for prompt, I will enter a beautiful Hollywood actress facing camera. I will leave all the settings as default and click generate. You can look inside the command line to look at the status of your video. When the progress bar reaches 100, you are ready to go into your output folder and take a look at the video. Or once it's complete, you can click update video here and it will show you what the video looks like. So that's actually not too bad. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're interested in me going into any of these settings in more detail, also leave that in the comments down below for a future tutorial. And please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon to be notified of future tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.